Hey guys, I'm Lewis from Lewis Loops, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make uh, different kinds of weapons uh, that for the little Amy Groomy guys. So here we have all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, who all have different weapons, uh, and you can get the pattern for all of these together. Uh, I'll throw a link right here to my Etsy, and that you can get the pattern for all of these, and then you can also get the pattern for um, a little Link, who is this guy. Um, so yeah, so now let's get to this. So first I'm going to teach you guys how to make um, a simple sword. So let's get these guys out of the way for right now. Let's put them to the side. Okay, so first we're going to make the hilt. Okay, so all, all we need is the same blue kind of yarn that we're using for the shield or silver or whatever kind of yarn you want as long as it's the same as whatever you're using for the most of it. Okay, And we use the same size crochet hook as we did. Alright. So we make a slip knot and leave a kind of long part because we're going to use that to sew into the back and to tie it in. And we're going to just chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay? And see and slip stitch into the back loops. Right here are the back loops. And we're gonna want to slip stitch one into each back loop. So you just gotta get into this right like that. And just slip stitch one. Go to the next one. Sometimes it can be hard to get into these back loops. And if you can't get into the back loops, if it's really that difficult, you can always um, just do it in the regular regular loops and it'll still end up relatively the same. This one's really giving me a problem. There it is. Got it. Alright, just slip stitch in that one. And then one more. Right here. Alright. Gosh. There we go. And just slip stitch that. Okay. Now we're going to cut it. And leave a kind of long end again. And pull through, making a chain pull all the way through. Okay. Then we want to get a needle and sew in this end, the first part cut from the slip knot, and we're going to want to sew that in to the back, and just just kind of hide it into the back. And we just, we just kind of want to get we just kind of want to sew it into this to get into the other side. There we go. Because we want it on both, we want one string on both sides to tie it into the back. Make it really easy. Gosh, I'm having a hard time with these this yarn right now, but there we go. And and I'm just basically making it up uh, to put in the back. You you just need to find spots just so. See one one side on this, and yeah, you get it. Anyhow, now we'll put that to the side for right now and get a toothpick. Um, any toothpick is going to work really, uh, but sometimes it's easier if you have one that's pointy on both ends. So I got lucky. I have these ones that have this little like design on this end, which it is really useful when making like um, nunchucks and stuff like that. But um, for making swords, it's usually easier if it's pointy on both ends. Okay, now we have a Sharpie, um, and I think it's just... Oops. It's just a metallic, oh, silver metallic colored. Um, you can obviously use any color you want. So we're just going to open up that. And we're going to color the top of our sword. You don't need to color too far down because only so much is going to be seen. Just make sure you get the silver all over the sword. There we go, looks pretty good. 
All right. Sometimes I like to make this first so it can dry a little bit, but um, that's not what we did. So we'll just let it hold right there for right now. So we have this. I have half of a link made right now. Um, this is probably the best time to do it is when it's like halfway made like this. Um, I don't know why. It's just it's because you can you can tie it on the inside and it just makes things easier. And so what we're gonna do is get a needle and Link is left-handed so we're going to put it in the sword in his left hand and you put the needle through just like how you're going to want the sword so you're probably just going to want it like that and we're going to take our sword without the hilt right now and just sew it or and then just follow the needle through the arm and it should go into the same spot or at least close to it and you can spin it if you spin it it's easier to push through okay like that all right so then we get our needle and we get our hilt I think this is a hilt I think I've been calling it a hilt and it's not but whatever and you find the spot in the middle of the back of the of the whatever and we're gonna put our needle in it exactly like how we want our sword it's so like that this would be the back of it this would be the front Oop, not that there you go that's the front okay so just like that we're gonna go to our sword and just put it on right there and just slide it all the way to the bottom just like that okay now we're going to want to take these two long ends and so one on each side and then tie it together in the inside so thread it and just put it in right next to his hand and this is going to hold the sword in place a lot better. Um, I find that if we don't do this, it'll move around too much. Oh, got it around the sword. Oops. There you go. If you don't do it like this, it the sword ends up moving around a lot. It can break off easier. Um, yeah. But this will keep it close to his body and make it easier all around. So thread this other side. Sew it into the other side of the hand, just like that, and then we'll just tie it, tie it together on the inside. And I would double knot it if I were you, but because it'll come out if you don't. Okay, now we're gonna get our scissors. cut it off inside and then now we go to the end of our sword and we cut off the end and it's pretty easy there we go and there is our sword for Link so he's got to add a shield to him and finish him off and there we go so we'll put him to side now I'm going to show you guys how to make um, so now that we know how to make swords nunchucks are pretty easy um, you just put the you're just gonna put two side two of them in um, for actually what I would do is I would tie two of them together first um, two two um, where are they there two toothpicks together at the ends um, and this is where the design ones come in handy more. If you don't have design ones, you might want to cut a little notch in it where it'd be easier to tie on. Um, and just take a thread, tie the two ends together, and then put them in the hands wherever you want them. So this way, he's got kind of like a cool ninjutsu thing going on. And the same thing with the staff is pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, but the one that's not is Raphael's. Um, 
sh I can't remember the names of these. They're like little, little fork swords. Okay, so um, they're like little triangle sword things, and yeah, I have one made right here. Okay, they're really tiny. Um, and how you do this is you get these little um, tie things. You, I find them at like Joann's and stuff, or I mean at uh, like Vaughn's and, and Safeway and stuff like that. They have these little tie things, and so they're those, but these ones are silver. I found these, I think, at Joann's. Um, you probably find them online or something. Uh, if I find one, I'll put a link into the, the description if I find a link for where to buy them. But, um, so how you do it is first you, um, you're you going to make a basically a cross with um, one of these. So you bend it. We're going to decide where we want, how long we want our top. So we want it like that long. You got to be careful because you only have so much real estate to work with here. And you're going to bend it like that, okay? Like a little hook. I'm going to flip it upside down. Like that. Okay. Get up to this other side and flip it again. And again, remember, try not to use too much on each end because it's, it's very easy to go and you make ends too long. Then we're going to go up and around like that. Okay? And then we're going to go down. See, I think I made it a little too long. That's okay. Well, we're going to make it work still. And up to the top. Gosh, it is. This is a lot more difficult <laughs> than. Or it's it's usually not this difficult. Okay, so basically, we're gonna give it a little squeeze. But there, you see what we made? We kind of made like a triangle one, like that. Okay, and there's there is an art to it. Obviously, it's it's a lot more. It it can be kind of tough. So get extra ones to make them. Um, and then what you do is once you make once you get these this kind of cross thing down. You twist all the ends. See, so the problem is why why mine is too small is I made the two legs a little bit too short. But that's okay. I'm spin all the ends. Or I mean I made the legs too long rather. There we go. Okay. Twist this a little bit more. Okay. And then what you do is you just point the ends like that. And there you go. There you go. We have a little forked weapon. And then again, you put it on him the same way we did a sword. So we get a needle. Where is a the needle? There it is. So we get our needle here. I have a. It, now this is Donatello, or this is Michelangelo. So this is not the same weapon. But you get the get your needle, put it through where we want the sword. So we want it just like that, and then we poke it through with the needle. Now I'm not going to put it on here because it's really hard to get off once you get it on there, but that's where I'm going to want it, so I, at the same time as I'm pulling through this needle, I want to put this guy in, okay? So it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, again, take some practice to make these little swords. Uh, I'm not even that good at it, and I'm the one that made up how to do it, so, um, yeah, so give it some time to practice, and yeah, I hope you guys like that video. Now let's get all the guys out here. So here's... Again. So uh, this is Leonardo. He's got two swords. Raphael's got his little triangle ones. Again, I showed you guys how to make um, these. You just tie them together and then put them on. And then finally, we got Donatello with his staff and Link with his sword. So yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, please. 
And um, yeah, you can get the patterns for this again at my Etsy. I'll put a link right there. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.